Damn, it's a nice day out. A perfect day for a body weight exercise series. Hmm, that's exactly what was voted on for our new series on our channel, and we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna start out with chest. What's our first exercise, B? Push-ups with a knee tuck. Hmm. Yeah, due to the angle of this push-up, it's kind of mimicking an incline in a way. A little bit more pressure is gonna be put on the clavicular portion because you're in that angle. And then of course, you know, raise those knees up to the chest, flexion in the back, get a nice little lap workout in there too. It's a two for one, -er, baby. Up next is the windshield wiper, wiper push-ups. Wiper, no, not quite, but wiper, yes. So what you wanna do is keep like your hands real wide. It's gonna be outside shoulder in that push-up position. So you're still in that push-up position, but you're gonna go a little bit wider than normal. So that way when you bring your body down to one side, you're gonna keep it low to the ground. You'll be moving side to side, really wiping back and forth there. It's gonna get a nice contraction there. Also isometric hold too, because you're gonna have to hold that position. Also the plank position too, so it's gonna be a lot of core work as well. So just put a little blanket on your chest and go around your house, wiping the floor that way. So you get a little two for one, you get a workout and you get to mop your floors. That's not what we're doing here, but that's always an option if you feel uh, a little spunky. We get a lot of questions on what to do when overcoming a cold. Do you just work through it? Do you continue to work out? Do you rest? What do you do? I'm just getting over a little bit of a flu myself. I went ahead and I took a pretty decent number of days off. I took about five days off. You know, my strength levels just really weren't feeling it. Me and Brandon actually tried this workout about two or three days ago, but... I just wasn't up to it. I knew my body needed a little bit more rest. And to tell you the truth, even today, I'm feeling really weak coming back, which try your best not to beat yourself up over it. You're gonna come back, you're not gonna do quite as good as maybe you did before you got your cold. Hey, it happens, you know? Work through it, get plenty of that rest and recovery. When you feel you're ready to go back to the gym, do it. But don't feel like you have to go into super mode right away. We just finished with our 12 week program. We we're doing supersets, we were kicking ass. I'm definitely not where I was even two weeks ago, which mentally you can kind of beat yourself up a little bit, but don't do it. You'll recover, you know? We're gonna make it through this workout, we're gonna do well, and we're gonna, as we say, one step closer to becoming a buff dude or girl. You're never there. You're always taking those baby steps. It's all about that consistency. There'll be a few bumps in the road, but hey, whatever, it happens. Keep going strong, don't give up. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Did you get that? <laughs> Looks like a uh, animal on the Discovery Channel or something, right? Like, right before he's about to strike. The buff dude Brandon Cobra or something. You look at him doing those push-ups, you get transfixed, and then he gets you. Water! It's like Mad Max Fury Road over here. Release the water. Actually, I don't know if he actually said that, but somewhat similar. <laughs> That's in the deleted scene. Yeah. Buff dude edition. Hey, you get a you got a good backyard workout in, you gotta fill up the buff dude's water trough. And today is gonna be special. It's gonna be the Hudson Sickness Pool Edition. Whoever gets in this water after me gets sick. Assisted one arm push up. As you can see, you're assisting yourself by putting your opposite arm, the opposite arm you're doing a push up with, on something. We're using the stability ball because of course we've used it before in the first exercise we did with the uh, push up to knee tuck. So we're just utilizing the stability ball again, but feel free to use anything else, a bench, a dumbbell, something, any, a stool, anything to really place your opposite arm on that you're doing the push up with. So that's gonna help stabilize you. So it is gonna help with that one arm push. It's still gonna be very difficult, but of course this is now implementing a unilateral exercise and the one before was alternating, you know, the windshield wipers going back and forth. So I'm over like a reciprocal kind of motion 
motion, this one, more of a unilateral, focusing on one side. Then, once you're done with one side, you go to the next side, complete the rest of the reps there. We're just gonna be doing three sets of 10 reps, and that in itself feels really hard, as Hudson was explaining. This body weight stuff isn't easy, especially when you switch it up and do different angles. You know, you're putting more stress on one side than the other, any balancing issues. So you feel free to switch up exercises like this. So instead of just a regular push-up, all of a sudden you're elevating your feet or you're adding another movement into it like a knee tuck or you're doing a one-arm assisted push-up. So that way you're putting more stress on one side than the other and you're still having to balance in that plank position, so on and so forth. So this body weight exercise can immediately be a lot harder than they normally would on just like a regular push-up. Whew. Okay, I can't blame it all on the cold. I gotta be honest. This is hard. <laughs> Just in general, it's hard. You know, coming from resistance training with weights to body weight, don't, don't, uh, don't let it fool you. Body weight is damn tough. Barely making it through this workout. Damn good suggestion. Thank you for suggesting body weight. Because it's a lot of fun for us, too, to switch it up like this. I think I popped a blood vessel. That's when you know you're flexing right. We started with stability ball push-ups with knee tucks. And those push-ups, the angle, crunch a little bit more on the clavicular portion of the upper chest. Do the downward angle, so you're pressing a little bit more at an angle uh, like you would in the incline. With this one, of course, is the dip. Concentrating more on the pectoralis major, the lower kind of portion, the lower fibers. And again, we're pairing it up with a knee raise. So really hit those abdominals with your chest. So you nice pump, you get your six pack, do your laundry in. That's buff dude style right there. Oh, celebration. Well, that wraps up the workout. Body weight only. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, we did, it was a hard one, but damn, it felt good. Now time to sit, soak, and relax. Oh, and as always, stay buff. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat>